If you have a herniated or bulging disc and you've tried the Cobra pose, you maybe have even dabbled with the McKenzie method, but the aggressiveness and extension that you've tried in the past just isn't working for you. I'm actually gonna give you a really cool approach to getting extension to help alleviate some symptoms like sciatica or pain from a hurting or bulging disc in a way that you can build on top of and slowly improve over time along with your symptoms. Now, like I always say, it's not just about one way of doing it. I wanna encourage you, if you're looking to find a better approach to alleviating pain from your herniated disc, it might be sciatica or maybe it's post-surgery, I wanna give you my free God, fitnessforbackpain.com forward slash pain free training. It's everything you need to apply exercise to your current situation and get out of pain without just spending time on a heating pad or an ice pack or doing mindless stretches every night to hope that your morning back pain goes away. So I learned this variation of gaining more extension into your life to alleviate symptoms from herniations and bulges from Dr. Stuart McGill. He's a great guy. You can check him out, uh, backfitpro.com. He's a really cool, he's a world-renowned back pain specialist. And this method of getting extension has revolutionized my life, and it's what I use in all of my programs here with my own self. The first thing you gotta do is start on its most elementary level. And what that is, is laying flat on your, on your stomach getting everything to relax and putting your head flat on the ground. Now, for the sake of my mic, I'm not going to put my head all the way down. I don't want to squish the audio, but essentially I'm laying flat. I'm trying to relax everything 100%, okay? So I'm not lifting my head up. I'm not pushing into any kind of extension. What I'm doing is just laying here, and actually laying here brings a small amount of extension to the low back. And this alone might be kind of painful. It might be hard for you to do this much extension. So the key is, is not to think pushing into this is gonna be better, but seeing if you can get yourself to relax, the muscles to relax, and that you can actually use the most basic version of this. From here, once you've kind of been able to control the symptoms, nothing's getting worse, um, you're not having an increase in, in any kind of sciatica or pain, then you can take it to a different level. And what you can do is turn your head to the side and rest your head on your chin. What this is doing is just adding a small amount of extension to what you were just doing. It's not a lot. We wanna have a small, progressive um, level of extension being added to what we're doing here. Once you've been here, you can do this for you know a couple minutes. I wouldn't spend any more than 10 to 15 minutes in this position, especially at first, but you're gonna work up to it, and you can do this maybe one or twice, once or twice a day, a couple times a week. Now, from here, once you've done the chin, and you feel good, you feel relaxed, something is tight and tense, then you can start adding blocks, or adding your fist, and you can put your chin on top of your fist. And one of the best things about this is again, we're introducing more extension into our body. So we're getting ourselves in a position where we're going to favor something that will help remove or reverse the herniation or bulge that we might be experiencing. Now, the key is, is not to force our way to more extension. That's not what we want. From here, we're gonna hang out Again, no more than 10 to 15 minutes. Maybe in a week or two weeks from now, we can practice going with more extension. So we're gonna stack our fists on top of each other. Now our head is a little bit higher. During this whole time, we're trying to relax, deep breathe into our butt, and that's the key to getting this area to just relax. Once we feel good about this, we've been trying this variation out for a while, then we can kind of graduate. If we are ready to, we don't have any kind of increase in symptoms, you can move to where you are now resting on your elbows and your forearms, and we're just trying to relax here. We're not trying to do anything crazy. We're trying to get the muscles in our low back to relax. Um, if you want to, I like to, to kind of flex my glutes some and try to get a little bit of just contraction down that area to kind of keep things moving and keep things kind of um, just awake. But it's not a big deal. You don't have to do that. The goal with this method here is to try to bring our symptoms to one central area. And oftentimes with herniated disc and bulging disc, a sciatica is a big deal. Now, I'm not a medical professional, I'm not a doctor, so make sure if you do have sciatica symptoms that you go get checked out. 
get an opinion of a professional that can put their hands on you and really make sure that what you're going through is not a serious, serious issue. For yourself, a DIY approach is simply getting more extension just like this. Now remember, it's a very quick and simple tip, but you wanna work your way into it. Don't go too much too quick. Don't try to accomplish everything in one day. Go into it slowly. If you're having symptoms, back off. If it's kind of the same, doesn't really get better, doesn't really get worse, then I say continue to do it. Now, if your pain and symptoms get worse, I would suggest you go see someone who can check out what may be going on. This is simply for education and advice purposes only. It's worked for me. It's worked for a lot of people that I've suggested you try it. Getting away from the Cobra pose, getting away from getting too much back extension through random exercises. Try it this way. Don't forget to grab that free guide, fitnessforbackpain.com forward slash pain-free training. See you on the next episode.